to the vlog. So a few vlogs ago, I shared with you guys how I've been using the Lubriderm Advanced Therapy Lotion for some time as my body moisturizer. I finished it, but recently on Ibotta, they had Lubriderm moisturizers. Ibotta is a rebate app that I use. Um, they had a rebate for Lubriderm. So I decided to try the Daily Moisture Lotion. I was like, how different can these two be? I prefer this one. I really like this one much better than this one. It's a subtle difference in terms of the texture. Ingredient wise, they're more or less very similar. They both work the same. They're both actually pretty lightweight, but my issue with this one, while I really like it, was that it kind of went on a little streaky and took ever so slight bit of time to absorb in. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that this one has titanium dioxide in it, which is a whitening agent. This newer one that I just purchased does not. The newer one has shea butter in it, whereas the Advanced Therapy Lotion does not. They both have oak kernel oil though, one of my favorite moisturizing ingredients. But if I had to choose between the two, I would go with this one. I just like it better, but they're both fantastic. Um, they're both fantastic, basic, affordable moisturizers. Now, speaking of Ibotta rebates, I stocked up on some body moisturizers because one thing about me, if you are new here, I can go through body moisturizers really fast. I moisturize from head to toe. I'm really generous with body moisturizer use. In fact, I'm actually almost finished with that big tub of CeraVe healing ointment and I only use that on my feet and ankles. So go figure there and my lips and eyelids. Um, but anyway, um, I love Gold Bond. So I got the retinol overnight again. Love this. Urea, retinol, peptides really helps to soften, hydrate the skin. I love it. Love the eczema relief one. It has colloidal oatmeal in it, which is really good for eczema prone skin. Soothing, hydrating, barrier protecting. The Age Renew Crepe Corrector. This one has, like most Gold Bond moisturizers, urea in it. Um, it also has magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. That's a stable form of vitamin C. The Radiance Renewal Hydrating Cream. This one has cocoa butter in it, ceramides, and shea butter. A Diabetics Dry Skin Relief one. After that TikTok trend, I was like, I'm gonna add that, why not? And this is another great one. Of all of these, I think this is the one I prefer the most as a all-in-one, facial and body. All of these are great on the face, but I really like this one the most, I think, as a facial moisturizer. It's just ever so slightly a bit more lightweight in consistency. Then EOS, which is a brand I really have never purchased anything from, had some Ibotta rebates. And I saw they came out with a fragrance-free 24-hour moisture body lotion. This was a really good deal, so I went ahead and snagged it. Surprise, surprise, it's fine, I really like it. It's actually kind of similar to the Lubriderm Daily Moisture Lotion. It has shea butter in it. It does not have the oak kernel oil, but otherwise, I mean, pretty similar in texture, et cetera, et cetera. Love the EOS, like, little look, real cute. This little pinch me, I'm so cute here, <laughs> divot. However, this little, th this is not, this is not good. This right here, this is not good. I'm really picky about stuff like this, um, but it's annoying. This is too short. I've experienced this with pump bottles before when they try and do this short stem, it's a no-go. Lubriderm has a nice stem, nice and long, and Lubriderm's pumps, um, once you press down, they come back efficiently. This is a little slow. It's not as slow as La Roche-Posay's, 
but it's, it's a little slow and this is like awkward. But one of the main reasons I was drawn to EOS on Ibotta is y'all know I love the, uh, what are they called? Tree Hut Shea Oils. Like that was one of my 2023 skincare favorites. I love them. Love, love, love them. I think they're an amazing product. And I thought Tree Hut was like so innovative in these uh, shea oils. I've never seen another brand really do that. Well, of course, that means other brands are going to start doing it. Well, EOS entered the picture. Maybe this is not a new product for them, but it's the first time I'm seeing it. It's their Cashmere Bikini Plus Shave Oil Serum. Okay. Um, <laughs> Got to kind of change up the name there. So uh, as to one up, I guess, Tree Hut. We'll see how this is. It, like the Tree Hut one, has fragrance. Hoba seed oil, coconut oil, cocoa seed butter, shea butter, argan oil. Looking forward to trying this one out. I'll keep you guys posted on how it compares to the beloved Tree Hut Shave Oils in terms of texture, performance, scent, all of the things. So got that and not related to skincare, but this was another Ibotta. I stocked up because um, I do Walmart Plus. I love it. Um, they deliver here, The you know, it's a membership. I know, I know, membership this, membership that, all these memberships, uh, but it's really paid off because they deliver here um, and you don't have to pay for the delivery. I mean, it's included in the membership. And then if you order something from Walmart that's not gonna you know, come from the store in your area, it's gonna be shipped to you, the shipping is free, it, well, included in the membership. Nothing in life is free, right? Included in the membership. Plus, I heard through the grapevine, I haven't shopped in Walmart in several weeks in the actual store. I heard through the grapevine that they are now limiting who can use the self-checkout to member to plus members only, which is so, how did we get here? We are now paying to be an employee. But I see what led them to do that because the self-checkout, apparently people were scamming the self-checkout, stealing. So I'm now paying for the luxury of being able to check out and bag my own groceries at Walmart. And you know, I'm going on a tangent here, you know that they're gonna make it annoying to go through the line by not having multiple cashiers, right? They're not gonna hire a ton of cashiers why would they do that um when they have people paying to be employees aka customers but i was already a member before they initiated this thing so i kind of you know got grandfathered in so to speak with my membership but all i have to say i got some of these i i use these kind of hair claw clips all the time i have this these big ones that i get from amazon that i love they don't break um, sometimes this joint will give out if you are too aggressive. Sometimes it'll kind of get off track, but the tines don't break. So I love these, but I also get the Scunchy brand, but um, they have, they, they break all the, you know, eventually they break. So I always end up replacing them, but these were an Ibotta offer too. So yeah, that's my little Walmart body care haul. Museum of Fine Arts.
this one. Lots to look at. The cat and dog down there. the light coming through the clouds. So neat. The Monet, so pretty. I love this one. The admirer, <laughs> dancer backstage, getting some flowers at the Moulin Rouge. This one. See how everybody had umbrellas? I have a garden here. A little free library. You know, I always have to take a peek, see what they're offering. Ooh, looks like some good ones. The hiding place. That looks good. Constantine's sword.
faithful presence. The Sinclair Legacy, Virginia Autumn. Hmm. Has anyone heard of these? I love these little London libraries. I always have to give them a look-see. This is a well-constructed one. Well guys, I have finished yet another jar of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Cream Fragrance Free and I love the texture of this. I actually prefer it to the old texture which was um, you know, a gel cream, it was a lot more opaque. This, this has even more of a gel-like feel to it. Feels a lot more lightweight going on the skin. Uh, today I filmed a video for y'all, which should be up at this point already, chit-chatting with you guys about reasons to consider incorporating hypochlorous acid into your routine. And I have been using this one from Prequel, which I purchased myself, um, and it's a great option. Also, the one I typically use uh, is by Skin Smart Antimicrobial. And the way I like to use hypochlorous acid in my I don't even use it in my skincare routine. Like you're not gonna find me. I mean, those of you who watch the vlogs, you've seen a lot of my vlogs. I show like what my basic skincare routine is. Where I use this is for when I get sweaty because as an atopic, sweat really triggers my skin. Uh, itch, flares of eczema. And so I find it really helpful in that regard. Hypochlorous acid is anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and it reduces levels of some of the mediators of itch like histamine, leukotriene, and something called interleukin-2. So I find it useful in that regard. Also it offers some deodorizing effect because you know when you're sweaty, the bacteria on your skin will start to break down the sweat, especially in the skin folds, that leads to body odor. So it's helpful in that regard as well. It's great on the feet. People with acne prone skin really seem to jive with hypochlorous acid spray. It's not a research-backed treatment for acne. It hasn't even really been investigated for acne, but it definitely makes sense mechanistically why people would appreciate improvement in acne or an acne supporting role. It is antimicrobial, but there's no bacterial resistance issue. Guys, I can't believe by the time you're watching this, it'll already be, April will already be almost over. Like what in the actual heck? Wasn't I just taking my Christmas tree down? Summer is going to be here in the blink of an eye. And I'm not mad at that. You know, most people that live here um, are like always dreading summer because it is quite, quite brutal. Okay. The heat here is like, do not visit this city at all in August. Uh, just don't, don't because it's, it's deadly. Fortunately, you know, indoors everywhere, they blast the AC. So ironically, you also end up cold a lot of the summer because they keep it so frigid indoors that you go from like <sighs> dying heat to the <sighs> frigid cold. <laughs> anyway, don't visit here in August. This time of year though, April is nice. Also, no October, November is usually pretty good um, temperature wise. Um, it's also nice, in my opinion, January, February, because like in the Northeast, you guys are miserable with all that snow, but we're just like here chilling, you know, it's not too bad. But speaking of hypochlorous acid spray, I really use it a lot here in the summer because I'll go for a run. Like I don't work out, I don't run outside here in the summer, um, no thanks. Uh, some people do. They wake up at like 3 a.m. to do that, so it's like only 95 degrees. <laughs> Um, and they can, ha you know, handle it. Uh, but I don't, I just stick to the treadmill for my workout, you know, running inside and stuff like that. But even then it, you sweat so much here because it's also very humid. So I find that, you know, for my eczema, my eczema actually gets worse here in the summer because of all the sweating. So the, the hypochlorous acid sprays really help me out a lot. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap this chatty part of the vlog up and this video. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it and had fun with me today and having a fantastic day, night, whenever you're watching this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.